Well, the move comes the same week a Cuban delegation is scheduled to visit the port of Palm Beach. Well, I sat down with the executive director of the port and asked what happens now. We caught up with Governor Rick Scott in Riviera Beach at the Barron Signs Company discussing his recent $618 million tax cut plan. While there, we asked about his plans to cancel funding the Florida ports that plan to do business with Cuba. There's no human rights down there. I don't believe our ports ought to be doing business with a brutal dictator like that. We met with Manuel Almera, the executive director of the Port of Palm Beach, and he tells me he talked with the governor earlier this week and decided not to sign any agreements with the Cuban delegation when they arrived Friday. He says capital projects are extremely expensive and ports rely heavily on the state. For example, this slip we just finished, this is slip number three, that costs over $34 million. And nothing is uh, inexpensive in ports. Nothing, particularly any capital project. We were able to have the uh, state subsidize 50% of that. You can't afford not to exactly. do what the governor is asking. Exactly. It is, it'll be very, 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 very challenging. Now, the director tells me they still plan to welcome that Cuban delegation, and they're looking forward to having tenants here learn more about opportunities to expand their businesses. I'm also told the delegation should be here on Friday. They were at the Port Everglades on Thursday. Next stop, Tampa. At the Port of Palm Beach, Angela Rozier, WPBF 25 News.